back to day two and we're joined by Stiggy for our last route and Stiggy seems to have got quite confident now as he knows where he wants to go and show us some of the hot spots that he knows. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to mark Stiggy. So I've got a little bit of pen and paper. We're going to give him a sort of a mock test at the same time, show you the test route or show you the test area. Okay, and then we're going to, I'm going to get you to do a little bit of maneuvers and maybe pull up on the left and you know really quickly what you would do on a real driving test so not only is this going to be showing you the areas it's going to be showing you what you need to do in order to pass your driving test first time when you're ready stick i'd like you to drive on please if it's safe to take do the so first left. okay and the stick's going to take the first left so he's done really good all-round observations off to a good start checked over his right blind spot and he signaled right now he's done his interior mirrors interior and left exterior mirror signal left and look at the speed that Stig's using here as he's coming into this road. Always look into the new road that you're traveling into and anticipate that there might be some kind of hazard that you need to stop for. So use your speed wisely. You know, the more you see, the faster you can go and the opposite to that. So the less you see, the less speed you would use. Go okay, take the next road on the left, please, Stig. Again, he's demonstrated good mirrors, good signal, you know, good distance from the end of the road or from the junction, I should say. And he showed the examiner he's doing what he needs to do to address the junction safely. So it's the routine. If you haven't heard this before, it's probably one of, if not the most important routine for driving. Mirrors, signal, position, speed, look. So you must always follow this routine to help you do everything that you need to do to be a safe driver and pass your driving test. So we've got a meeting situation here. Stig could not see this oncoming vehicle until he entered the road. There was space turning right at the end of the road. Mirror signal, position speed, look. And there was space for both of us to pass each other there, but the white car was very kind and he waited for us to pass them, which was nice, giving Stig a little bit extra room. But it uh, could have turned into a potential hot spot, but we were fortunate enough to have some space. So we talked about that, turning into new roads, really look into the new road as much as you can see. If you can't see, remember, go nice and slow. Be prepared to stop if you see a hazard ahead. Okay, because quite a lot of the narrow roads, or sorry, I should say a lot of the side roads are narrow roads. And this is what the examiner knows. And they're taking you down these residential roads, not only to do your manoeuvre. Mini okay? roundabout, straight ahead. I okay, get the mini roundabout straight ahead, but also to see how you deal with the meeting situation like we just had. Okay, so mini roundabout here. This is one that's super important as you need to slow down lots, which is what Stig's doing now. And now he's done very good observations to the right. That one has got really poor observations. Okay, so we've come down Fourbridge Road going south from the test center, Ashford obviously, and now we're going, sorry, we're on the roundabout. First exit. First exit, turning left on the roundabout. Now, what is Stig thinking about now? Bike. You think about the bicycle, okay. He's stay behind him. He's going to stay behind the bicycle. Good decision. Nice observations. Double check the right-hand side so it was safe. New Six. speed limit, 50 miles. Very good. New speed limit. So in the previous video, if you haven't watched that, we've got other routes here at Ashford Middlesex then. You'll notice I talked a lot about speed changes. Very common as you enter a road to have a speed change. So we talk, when you enter a road, look to see if there's any traffic, but you're also trying to look for speed changes, which is very common here on a dual carriageway system with dual carriageway roundabouts. Turning on and off of a dual carriageway, you're going going to have speed changes. So look out in these junctions also for the signs showing you speed change. All right, Stig, when it's safe to do so, I'd like you to show me how you would beep the horn, please. Lovely, thank you very much. Okay, and Stig, if you could just tell me, how would you check to see your brake lights are working? No, press the, uh, I'll have the ignition on. Right. If I need to. Okay. Press the brake pedals. Yep. And look for reflections. Lovely. Or ask someone to help me. Damn it. <laughs>
There was a speed change. So I was trying to see if I could distract Stig long enough for him to not see that, as it is a little bit hidden by the bushes on the left. But Stig saw the sign and he was able to slow turning down in time. All right, so we're coming towards the traffic lights where Stiggy's going to be turning left. So at the traffic lights, turn left, please, Stig. Normally, your examiner will give you directions from about the same time that me and Stig were mentioning them. You're sort of about 150 yards off, 200 yards maybe maybe from a junction. This is a very good time for the examiner to start to maybe lead in. Nice new speed limit here. Well done, Stig, seeing a speed change. We just mentioned that. Uh, so it's a nice time for the examiner to lead into giving you directions. So there's enough time for you to do your mirrors, signals, maybe position into the correct lane, adjust your speed and have a good look into the new road or into the junction that you're about to turn into. Okay, so we've completed the show me, tell me questions for Stig. Um, we haven't done the maneuver yet. Maybe that's something we might finish off with actually when we get to the test center. Might get Stig to do a bay park or show you the bays there. This is another area that you could possibly no start. Uh, you got a diagonal base. We use a diagonal base. You won't be asked to use a diagonal base to do bay parking on your driving test, but Stig is an experienced driver, so we're going to give him a little bit of an advanced bay parking, and I'll show that on the reverse camera when we get there, so you can see exactly what Stig's using to assist him, if necessary, in order to get into the bay. It's a very good system, nice camera, good lines showing you exactly where you're steering and helping you to park in between the white lines of the bay of your choice. So we're still here. Stig's identified. This is a 30 mile an hour road. Um, Stig, what I'd like you to do is pull up and stop on the left in a convenient place, please. So this is something that definitely can be asked of you on your driving test. Pull over on a single carriageway or dual carriageway like this. A lot of people feel that they're not allowed to do that. There's no road markings here. There's no raised curb, uh, sorry, drop curb, which is regarded as a driveway. So therefore, we are allowed to stop here. And that's what the examiners want to see. They want to see that you're able to do this and pull away safely. Now, Stiggy mentioned, when you're on a very busy road like the one that we started on, take your time. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on, please, Stig. So he's done very good all-round observations. Stig didn't decide to signal on that occasion. It wasn't necessary. There's absolutely no one behind us, so the signal won't benefit anybody. Stig's taking this next road on the left. Okay, because he didn't want to do the roundabout for some reason. Scared of the roundabout, Stig? All right. We're following the sat now, so Stig's on his independent driving, and we've got more roundabouts here. So where are we going, Stig? Second lane. Good. What lane are you going to use? Left only lane. Excellent. No road markings saying it's a left only lane, so we want to use the left lane to go straight at the roundabouts. Unless road markings or road signs state otherwise. Now we're looking to the right, nice position from the stick. I call it pointing. So stick's pointing towards the left-hand side of this roundabout, kind of keeping into that left lane. If it's more than one lane, we want to maintain the lane discipline and follow it towards the exit that we need. Okay, and a lot of time people can fall out of their lanes. This is what was regarded as lane discipline and um, therefore you can get marked down for this. It can be a serious fault, depends on the examiner, depends on the situation. Okay, Stig, what I'm gonna ask you to do is come back into the driving test center, take the next road on the left, do this nice and gentle. We're gonna go into our VIP bays here, which you may or may not be fortunate enough to have. We're gonna show them to you just in case. So take your time, Stig, nice and gentle, then turn into the right here, and you'll see the bays here on the left. Uh, what I'd like you to do is to try and reverse into one of the bays, please, Stig. All right, so Stig's going to take a nice starting position here using the whole of the road. It's all for him to get a good position. Bear with me, Stiggy. Uh, we're going to take this one and we're going to show everybody what you can see. Lovely. So you can see the white lines are a bit faint there, but Stig's doing his best. He's got his big, thick yellow yellow lines in the white lines which are the wheels then what we can do is we can come around here to see the mirror and the mirror will show you the white lines also which is helpful if you have these blind spot mirrors obviously you can use those to your benefit and we can finish up here with some turning on the steering we can see if we need to steer or not steer and there we are finishing up in the bay 
in between the lines. Now you're allowed to make adjustments, you're allowed to go forwards and backwards as many times as you feel it's necessary within about a three to four minute period. And as long as you finish your maneuver within three to four minutes and you're in between the lines, which is the test requirement, there we go, it's in the holder, just in my mouth now. Okay, then you will be a pass. Okay, lots of observations on your maneuvers as well. And saying one, that... One minor fault. One minor fault. I was actually going to say, Stig, you clean sheeted it. What's the minor fault? For adjustment. Oh, for adjustment. Yes, good point. Thank you, Stig. So if you do adjust, like I need to adjust this. <laughs> it's going to fall down. If you do adjust on your driving test, then you'll get a minor fault. So, Stig, how did you feel that your driving test went? Very good. Very good. And you're correct. Congratulations, you I passed. Have, I had lots of practice. Very good instructor. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, a like on the video will help us out tremendously. I've been Scott. This is Stig. This is Two Day Pass. Stay safe, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.